Hey, this is Greg again with another Homestead Tips. Last week we talked about firewood, how you didn't let a stick of stove wood go to waste. Well, I'm gonna expand on that this week. This week we're talking about waste not, want not. Now, if you got the room, there's nothing wrong with taking the tops, which I'll show you here in a minute, off of what you cut down, just making you a big old brush pile. Brush piles have a lot of benefits produces habitat for little woodland feathered and furry creatures if you don't have a room you can pile it up and make a burn pile not a big deal invite some folks over roast a weenie what have you but what if you don't have the room what if you need every bit of resources you can get well you can take these tops and you can make your own mulch now I'm just getting started. You can see I got a decent little brush pile here. Okay. You can see I got a hole right there. And then you see I got this electric chipper. Alright. So what I do on everything that's small enough is I turn it into mulch. I take anything that's say three quarters of an inch or smaller and I run it through this electric chipper here. Now Electric chippers aren't that expensive. You can get them brand new on eBay, or not eBay, sorry, Amazon for about anywhere from $121 to $166, depending on the power you get. You can look on Craigslist a lot of times and find them much cheaper. I actually got this from somebody who said they didn't want it anymore. They tried to sell it in the yard sale and couldn't get rid of it, so I got it for extra cheap. Now, I do grind them all up, leaves and all. That puts carbon and nitrogen in the pile, which means it can get hot. I generally pile them up, let them rot a little while, let the temperature cool down, and then I'll put them somewhere else. But this will enable me to take this brush pile, after I trim out of everything that I want to use for stove wood out of it, and turn it into a much smaller pile of mulch that I can then use around the house. And you know what all it cost me? A little bit of sweat and some electricity. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is something you're interested in. Uh, we'll be back with you again next week for another Homestead Tips and step by step we're bringing rural back. Bye bye.